so there was an opportunity um, that went out by email and I saw it and Mr. Calcaris saw it about this Lego education. So I was pretty interested in going because I've been thinking about starting a STEM club. The high schools have robotics and Project Lead the Way and their biomed classes and there really wasn't an option for that in the middle school level and to get them introduced to that quicker than high school, I thought that would be a perfect way to get them playing with some robots and programming and get them thinking with engineering and science and math and seeing how all of these different things interact with each other. I wanted to join robotics because um, it's a certain like coding thing for like programming robots and I've like seen other people program robots. I was like, oh, this looks so fun. So I thought I would like to try it out. I want to join robotics because I like um, trying new things and building. I want to be a nurse when I grow up, so I want to have the strategies that we use for robotics. They built these robots in like two meetings, so it's like three hours, and they have a whole robot built. And they're quickly, so quickly picking up how, how to program them. The most challenging part is uh, programming, like programming and putting the electric stuff onto the uh, robot. So we use our computers to download the software for the LEGO education, and then there's like several different modes where we can program robots like 360 degrees turn, or like you can pick up blocks, drop them, or move forward and backward. So there's a lot of different things they can do. There's a lot of different sensors. They can follow a colored line. Um, they can uh, use different sensors with light colors or um, anything like that and picking up objects and completing tasks. So I'm going to give them a task and they have to figure out how they're going to get their robot to complete that. We're working on how to move it forward and move it backwards and to spin it. The most challenging part of programming the robot is basically figuring out what to do, what to put on the like line that you're coding. I think they do a really good job of learning how to work together. Um, and they are, I was surprised how many young ladies I have because typically you think STEM and you think, oh, I'll have a ton of boys who are interested in engineering and math and science. And I was really excited how many ladies I have that are interested. Um, and I think it definitely teaches them some teamwork skills and some collaborations. They have to all work together to build this one robot and get it to move and get it to do the things that it, you know, we want it to do. I learned to let people try what they're trying to do instead of like not letting them. In school and classes we're sometimes being partnered in groups and so it's helped me like to come to an agreement faster so we can get things done faster. Um, it helped me like to stay positive and like if you get like stuck just keep going or ask someone. My favorite part is getting to see the kids outside of class. So we're, I mean I have all of these students except for two of them so I um, gotten to know a few new kiddos, but I love seeing them in a different setting. I would like to do robotics in the future because it's like really fun.